Hello. Well, if you've been looking at buying yourself a little treat of a laser recently, yes, it's that time of year, you might find it a bit dizzying working out which one is the best fit for you. Diode versus CO2 versus fiber versus UV. What the heck's a galvo and much more. So to keep things simple and avoid analysis paralysis, I am going to keep this very simple and walk you through the three choices that you need to make to get the right laser for your interests and hobbies. Ultimately, it comes down to one, which brand, two, which form factor, and three, which laser type. I'm gonna be short, sharp, and to the point. Firstly, which brand? Now, as many of you know, there are some areas in tech where this is trickier. If you were buying a track saw, then I do love my trusty Fez tool. But whereas 10 years ago, they were the only show in town, these days, I'd say there's loads of options and it's much trickier. 3D printers. Well, I still think Bamboo Lab are the brand to beat in standard printers. But I think that tool changes are super interesting at the moment. So between Prusa, Snapmaker and Bamboo Lab, it's really a battle and I couldn't actually recommend. With lasers, if you're looking at the full industrial level, there's loads of options and competition. But at the domestic level, I really can't see anyone but Xtool at the moment. I get companies approaching me all the time and I always look and review their specs and stats, but I just haven't seen anything that has come close to the full range of capabilities that Xtool offer. Their hardware is outstanding and their software is becoming a class of its own. I remember when I bought my P2 a few years ago, I jumped between XCS and Lightburn. XCS was always more intuitive, but Lightburn was needed for the more complex things. XCS is truly next level now. So this is the simple part. I strongly recommend Xtool at the moment their design standards, their safety standards and innovation is just next level. I think it's very hard to see a near competitor. So easy at this point and all that follows applies regardless of which brand you fancy, but this is where it becomes a bit more about your interests and hobbies. Now Xtool have a lot of machines in their range now. The M1 Ultra, P3, the F2 Ultra and the S range. And with the F2 Ultra UV, they've pretty much completed the light spectrum. Unless they release a gamma ray laser, I have no idea what that would even do. Nuclear level stimulated photon emission detected. Matter destabilizing. I suspect that would be more X Men than X Tool. The F range in particular has expanded rapidly, which can be confusing if you don't grasp the differences between them. So next, I'm going to decode it all. The S, M, P and F families and what these letters actually mean. How the F range fits together and how to choose the right wavelength for the materials that you want to work with so that you can make the right decision for your own interests. So Xtool's naming. Xtool organizes their machines by purpose, not power. The letters at the start of each model give you a sense of where their engineers began. And once you know that, the whole lineup suddenly makes a lot more sense. S is for safe. And I remember Xtool really drawing the line here. Back when other companies were releasing open frame diode lasers with goggles that could have come out of a Christmas cracker, Xtool basically said, uh, maybe stop selling death rays to teenagers on a budget, yeah? They had trade-in schemes to take your open frame death laser to give you really aggressive discounts off a properly covered, professional, safe device. The S range is for entry-level users who want to use a laser safely and easily. These are cheaper devices with simple but surprisingly capable lasers. M is multifunctional. That's the M1 Ultra. 
a little creative powerhouse that combines a diode laser, a blade cutter, an inkjet head and drawing pen, all inside one enclosed unit. It's designed entirely around flexibility and adaptability. I think you need to put this one to one side a bit because it's better understood as an amazing cricket than a laser. It's amazing for crafters, for example. P is for professional. It's a certified workhorse. It's got a big bed, big power, conveyor system, built-in chiller, proper cameras, everything about it screams, I'm here to work. This is your volume cutting, acrylic eating, MDF obliterating workhorse. I bought my P2 for this exact reason. It is an absolute tank. If my house ever collapses, the P2 will probably be sitting there in the rubble, ready to help me build a new one. This gives you maximum space for big projects or heavy production of lots of smaller items. And then there's F, which stands for fast. And this is where Xtool shifts to a totally different design focused entirely on speed. Instead of using a gantry, they use a galvo system, which doesn't move the laser head around like a CNC or a 3D printer. It just tilts a mirror really, really fast. Traditional gantry lasers move at hundreds of millimeters per second. Galvos do tens of thousands. So the P range is speedy. The F range is blazing fast. There's of course pros and cons of this. You have to have a smaller working area, but this is all about blazing speed. So this is amazing for smaller objects and designs. So speed and precision are the hallmarks of the F range. So now that you know the families, let's look at the science behind them because the wavelength or the color of the light is what actually decides what each machine is good at. Every axial laser sits somewhere on the light spectrum and it's the wavelength, not the wattage, that determines what materials it works with. So a 5 watt laser with the right wavelength can wildly outperform an 80 watt laser on the wrong part of the spectrum. As a result, matching the type of laser to your interests is a key decision. So let's go through that now. Blue diode. Blue diodes love wood, leather, paper, cardboard, darker acrylics, and coated metals. These are the most common and established laser type. As a result, they're also cheaper generally, hence you'll find them in the S range and the M range. Where they tap out is in materials like metals, glass, plastics, and others. For this, we need to move along the spectrum. Infrared fiber. Infrared fiber lasers love stainless steel, aluminium, titanium, brass, and engineering plastics. They are metal masters. They won't touch wood. If they do, they'll just stare at you. This is part of Axtil's reason that they combine the fiber laser with a diode in the F2 Ultra range so that you can get the best of both worlds. Good use cases would be deep engraving, color engraving, and industrial marking. Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet loves glass, ceramics, wood, and plastics. They deliver photochemical or cold marking, which transforms the material rather than burns it. This is the laser equivalent of someone who can write your name on a grain of rice. CO2. The CO2 laser loves wood, MDF, fabric, rubber, and all kinds of acrylic. It's amazing with clear acrylic, for example, that almost all of the others struggle with. But it's weak on plastic and metals, unless they're coated. So now you know the setup and you know the science, you can quickly match each machine to your own hobbies. The M1 Ultra has a blue diode. It is a Swiss Army machine craft all rounder. I treat it as less a laser, more of multifunction craft machine that also has a laser. 
The P3 is a CO2 production cutter. It's the workhorse. If I'm cutting large pieces of wood or engraving a big sign or cutting some clear acrylic, this is my go-to. The F2 is a portable to desktop diode plus IR galvo. These are the speedy siblings of the ultra range, smaller so that you can take it to the workpiece, but naturally not as heavyweight in capabilities. You then move into the ultra version of the F range where cutting edge laser technologies come in for really specialist tasks. So the F2 Ultra is a fiber plus diode metal industrial engraver. This is the metal master with all capabilities the diode lasers have too. So hard things like metal, slate and the rest, this is awesome for that. The F2 Ultra UV is an ultraviolet precision engraver. This is the surgeon. The UV range gives this some truly stunning capabilities. It tackles an incredible range of materials and it is the laser for glass. I just covered this in a whole video where I covered some of the amazing capabilities that UV offers. It's the cutting edge laser type, the hardest to achieve, but it has just entered the consumer level. So in summary, pick your family, safe, multifunctional, professional or fast based on your workflow. Then pick your wavelength based on the materials you actually want to cut or engrave. If you're still unsure, leave me a comment with what you plan to make and I'll point you straight to the right machine. And links below will take you to all the best deals. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the workshop. Boil Vavre.